Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. This is episode 31. Last time we saw some alternate outcomes of the Brazilian Forest questline as well as doing some companion quests and uh, Leliana's was really great and we also got a beautiful performance from her in the party camp uh, singing us a beautiful tune. Uh, today we are starting our episode in Soldier's Peak because... Um, Everybody and their mother wanted to tell me about the Superman reference. Um, I'm not the biggest Superman fan ever, and that isn't for any particular reason. I don't dislike the character. He's kind of great. I was just never a Superman fan growing up. So his origin story and the fact that he fell from the sky, like I know his origin story. I know that he's, you know, I know his story. I just didn't know. At the time, I'm not going to make that connection. I pick up on a lot of references to things here and there. Sometimes you just don't pick up on references. I'm not that much of a Superman fan to come across it in Dragon Age and go, they're talking about a child, and then I walk up to the crater and I get a ball of metal. I like, it's, it was just part of me that was just like, I wasn't going to go, ah. Superman, you know, um, but we're starting the episode off because alongside all of those Superman related comments, uh, apparently that metal that we discovered is uh, to be given to Mikhail Dryden. So we're starting our episode off uh, with that in with that in mind of us uh, giving him this precious metal. Warden. From the stars. Um, in my travels, I found this strange metal in a crater. This... This is star metal. If you give this to me, I will craft for you a thing of legend. A thing of legend? Okay. How much will it cost me? Nothing. My family owes you much. Nice. So is this little Superman... Uh, is this little Superman DLC encounter thing um, also a DLC thing? I, I assume so. So we can ask for a two-handed sword or a long sword. Um, we have two characters that use uh, the two-handed sword, Sten and Ogren, and then Alistair is a long sword wielder. Also, I guess my character is now capable of uh, having peak efficiency while also being able to wield a uh, long sword with a with a dagger and still getting the the nice uh, two handed dual wield bonus. So maybe we'll go for for a long sword because then I could use it if it's if it's cool star star metal. And so it shall be. Star metal long sword. Maketh me the blade out of star metal. That looks pretty cool. It is done. I call this blade Starfang. May it serve you well. I must rest after my exertions. Warden? Starfang. Okay. So it gives plus three dex, plus three damage, and 2.5 armor penetration, and three slots. So it does 1190 damage, 3.4% critical chance. Nice. Strength modifier of one. Requires 31 strength to wield. The stoic blacksmith Mikhail Dryden crafted this peerless weapon out of a metal that fell from the heavens. The world has possibly never seen its like or ever will again. Uh, what's Alistair got? Uh, health regen and combat, stamina regen, combat, weakening darkspawn, more damage to darkspawn. So it's a good darkspawn killer, this one. Marix Blade. But this one has three slots. Um, maybe we can, maybe we can stick it on as like a second, second thing. Oh, the man's not even wearing a belt. Probably because I've given his belt to someone else <laughs> when I took off his gear. Uh, that's cool. Star thing. Pretty sweet. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll stick it on. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Alas, that was our brief little journey into, uh, Soldier's Peak. Uh, and we are now going to be heading to, um, Redcliffe Village. 
because we've got lands meet to do. We've got lands meeting to do. So let me take off a bent, uh, belt off of a character that we're probably not going to take with us to the to the lands meet. Um, okay. Just mixing and matching. I think we will take off Ogren's strength and armor belt uh, and we'll stick that on Alistair. There we go. Um, let's let's give him let's give him Star Fang. Just on like the second one, I guess. I like Marek's blade. And plus I feel like we're gonna do you know, we've got a blight coming up. We gotta think about that extra we gotta think about that extra damage to, to Darkspawn, you know. Um we can give uh Sten the uh dragon bone gear which does give more armor than the juggernaut stuff but the juggernaut gear has a lot of good stat resistances and also a decent bonus so i think we'll probably just leave it in my storage for now so with that one in mind my star fang um constructed we're going to go speak to our Lehman. he will call the lands meet uh, and that's kind of like the big main event we've been building up to for so long now, getting all the treaties sorted out. Al Eamon, I am here for the meeting of lands. I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the lands meet if you are ready. I would prefer not giving Logain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Uh, let's go. I'm, we're ready to, I'm, I think we're ready to go. Like there's some miscellaneous side quests and busy work for some rewards that we haven't completed. But in terms of all like the big boy jobs, I think we're good to go to Denerim and see what happens. Cause it should open up some of the side quests in Denerim that we haven't been able to do yet. I assume, hoping that that is the case. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Every time I see Ban Tegan, I just, I can't get his image of him dancing out of my head. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the lands meet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage for the moment is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Logan, this is an honor that the regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's queen. And I lead her armies. Ahem. <clears throat> if Enora rules, let her speak for herself. The throne belongs to Marek's only living son. We can drop that bomb immediately. Let's let's keep the cards to our chest. Let's keep the cards to our chest because <laughs> Alistair's our little ace in the hole here. He's, he's, the, he's the trick up our sleeve. Considering Ostagar, perhaps we need a better general. Ah, the Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. I'm not a recruit anymore, you bud. I have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. Yeah, right, okay. I don't accept the sympathies of deserters and regicides. You should curb your tongue. This is my city and no safe place to speak treason for anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. 
How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of Hyava? And current Arl of Denerim, since Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar, the Regent has been generous to those who prove loyal. <clears throat> you boys better be careful. I'm a dwarf and I'm at dick chopping off range with these daggers, okay? If anyone wishes to have their dicks chopped off, I'm here. Okay? And I'm ready to blow. Boot licking appears to be profitable these days. <laughs> Don't interrupt, Churl. Your betters are talking. <sighs> no, Carthian. This is not the time or place. Hey, you, no, you shut I up. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight with your selfish ambitions <laughs> to the throne. <laughs> I'm taking this boy to the castration station. He's getting chopped. God damn it. What efforts can there be when you outlaw the Grey Wardens? If you truly want to save this land, stand with us, and you're the one who divided for Ilden. I was not talking to you. I am going to punch I you in the nuts. What you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Oh, uh, Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Okay. Oh, is that all I have to do? Yep. No pressure. There he is. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Okay. Well, we've revealed the Alistair Ace in the hole then. Little grumpy bottom low game. He's gonna shit his pants. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. Uh, he's a, he's a butthole. Why is he doing this? Maker knows. Perhaps he's gone mad. I would have imagined pigs would fly before Loghain McTeer would turn against our king. Have you known Loghain a long time? My sister married King Merrick while he was still in exile. At that time, he and Loghain were inseparable. The wild prince who'd never seen the inside of a castle, and the farmer's son. When Loghain joined Merrick's rebels, he was just a raw-boned boy, but he got on one knee to swear that he would see Ferelden free or die trying. Huh. Well, guess he's gonna die then. And now he kills Merrick's son and steals his throne. And conspires with a blood mage to poison me. It is a bitter dose to taste. The Chantry speaks truly about the corruption of power. If a man like Loghain could go and do this, I would never have believed he would do anything but what was best for Ferelden. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around and see what you can turn up. Better yet, Find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmate. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When test, you're ready test to the waters. Come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmate then. The sitting room. Okay. Let's go high ever in the codex. Let's take a look. Castle High Ever has stood since the Divine Age, when it was not an independent Banorn, but merely an outpost of the growing Banorn of Amarinthine. In the days before Amarinthine became an Arling itself, the outpost of High Ever was originally held by the Ilstan family, cousins of the Howls. In the Age of Towers, however, Ban Conobar Elston was murdered by his wife, Flemeth. Right, this was that whole storyline. Flemeth! Thus ending the bloodline, Conobar's captain of the guard, Sarim Kuzland, took the lands and title. The Kuzlands declared their independence from Amarinthine, starting a war that lasted 30 years. When the dust settled, Hyever was on its own, and in possession of half the land that had once been southwestern Amarinthine. Hyever became a Tainir during the Black Age, when Hyela Kuzland gathered the lords together under her banner to drive the werewolves out of their lands, earning herself the title of Turner, 
turn? Turner? Almost as an afterthought. Today, however, is one of only two remaining Tanias, making the Kuzlan family second in rank only to the king. Al Hal of Amarinthine was named the new Terran of Hyover, under somewhat questionable circumstances, and the fate of the Kuzlan family is now uncertain. Gotcha. Gotcha. Characters. Al Eamon. Um, his health restored, Eamon called a lands meet with the goal of resting power from low gain and placing Alistair on the throne. Okay, so we're in a new location. Oh, all my- everyone's- everyone's here, okay. I got no party right now because everybody's just hanging around. Everything in here appears to be breakable. It seems most impractical. Okay. Uh, and then we can go, you're still with me, I see, and I have some questions. So this is just normal party member dialogue. Yes. It destroyed the Anvil of the Void. I would not have thought... It could just as easily have defied Caradon, I think. I feel I owe it. Enough that I'm willing to remain with it and assist in its crusade against the Darkspawn. Unless it wishes me to leave. Don't go, I happen to need you. Refreshing. Normally such words would be accompanied by the wave of a control rod. I shall remain as it asks. Perhaps we should continue. Its chances of success are small enough without further dawdling. All right, Shale. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. What say you? <laughs> By all means. Let's just move on, apparently. You know, I could... What say you? Again? I'm game. Okay, he's got nothing. 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 Oh, we got a bunch of books in here. Time to learn. This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? I know that look. You have something on your mind, don't you? What do you know of this place? Denerim is Feraldon's most important city, yes? This is the seat of power, the jewel in the crown of the king. She is Feraldon's heart. Her walls are strong, but within them lies so much beauty, just like the country and the people. I know that look. You have something on your mind, don't you? <laughs> yeah, just, just party camp things, but in a different space. This book is massive. Very well. History of Ferelden, Chapter 2. Do we have Chapter 1? We do. History of Ferelden, Chapter 2. It's been a while since we've uh, seen Chapter 1, I suppose. The occupation was a dark blot on Ferelden's history. Our people, who from time immemorial valued their freedom over all else, were forced to bow to Elysian rule. The Empire declared our elves property and sold them like cattle. Chevaliers routinely plundered freeholds of coin, food, and even women and children, and excused it as taxation. And for 70 years, no lands meets were held. No lands meets. Yeah, that's... It's hard to say. Lands meets were held, for the Imperial Throne had declared our ancient laws a form of treason. King Brandel was one of those who escaped. He tried to organize the other fugitive lords to retake their land, but Brandel was neither clever nor persuasive, and the nobles preferred to take their chances alone. Ferelden might still be little more than a territory of the Empire were it not for the fact that his daughter had all the charisma that her royal father lacked. The Rebel Queen's rule began with a midnight attack on the Imperial Army at Lothering. It was a swift and success it was swift and successful, and with their pilfered arms, the rebels began a campaign against the Orlesians in earnest. But the turning point of the war came when a young freeholder joined the Queen's army. The lad, Logain Maktir, possessed a remarkable talent for strategy and quickly became the favourite advisor of young Prince Marek. The Queen finally died at the hands of Orlesian sympathisers anxious to curry favour with their painted masters, and Marek took her place as the leader of the rebellion. Logain became Marek's right hand. Marek and Logain led the rebels in a new campaign against their Orlesian oppressors, culminating in the Battle of River Dane, where the last chevaliers in Denerim were crushed. With the capital once more in the hands of Ferelden's, the battle to free our people was finally over, but the battle to rebuild what had been lost had only just begun. Nice. Okay. This is just the fantasy name of saying Daniel. 
Den, den, den all. Den, den all. Let me just fix that real quick. Den all. The free marchers. The free marchers are not a kingdom, nor even a nation, in the most basic sense. People from that region dislike even being lumped together as marchers. Rather, they are a collection of independent city-states, united only when it suits them. In this respect, they resemble the Banorn before the arrival of King Kalanhad. Because of this, the free marchers have no capital, and what passes for a central government exists only sporadically, a sort of lands meet that convenes only during times of crisis. I arrived in time for the Grand Tourney while it was on in Tantavale, a remarkable sight indeed. I saw Avar Hillsmen test their metal against Orlesian Chevaliers, riders from the Anderfels buying the Varan cavalry horses, and Teven craftsmen selling their wares to Devinter Majors. All of Thetis was on display. Hello, Daniel. How do we, how do we say it? De Noel. De Noel. I hope all the accommodations are to your liking, Warden. Please let me know if anything is troubling you. De Noel. Uh, this is the way to leave. Estate exterior. Estate exterior. Let us chat to every, all of our friends before we leave. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? It is no trouble. It is no trouble. Of course, you're in the dining hall. <coughs> yep. Right here, old pal. Yeah. Hi. <sighs> hey, all right then. <laughs> Ogren's unique. Dialogue in this place is burp in your face. Okay. Oh, my room and my dog, eh? Uh, is Morrigan in my room? Where Morrigan at? Morrigan's in my bed. His lordship sends no notice he's coming, and now the house is full of guests. And dressed day preservers, this will be the death of me. Excuse me, I have to dust the Isle's sitting room. Are you from Denerim? No, I'm from Redcliffe. Lady Isolde brought me here to be her chambermaid last spring. I have family here, though. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. Good day, Nigella. Okay. Alistair, Eamon's study, Morrigan is in my bedroom, but so is Sten. Hmm. Why does Sten wish to be in my bedroom? What kind of threesome awaits me in there? Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Yes. Yes, very, very nice. Good, because it's likely to be your last rest for a while. This is Elena. she's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. Hmm, why would Enora ask us for help? She works for Lugin's daughter, she's a spy. Why? The queen. She is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. When he returned with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. Hmm. Are you saying the queen believes Loghain killed Caelan? My queen suspects she cannot trust her father. And Logan, he is very subtle, no? But when and how, he is privy to all the secrets and not so subtle. So she goes to how? A visit from the queen to the new Isle of Denrum is only a matter of courtesy. And she demands answers. What did he say? Things no decent person would repeat. He calls her every sort of name. Traitor being the kindest. And locks her in a guest room. Interesting. Okay. What does this have to do with me? I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on Owl Eamon. Would Lugain kill his own daughter just to frame Eamon? We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. Damn. 
This could all, this could very well be a setup, but at the same time, I kind of believe it. What do you propose we do? I have some uniforms. I'll hire so many new girls every day. A few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants' entrance. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to house estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. Damn. New quest, rescue the queen. I'm glad you decided to help. With the Nora's knowledge, we have a far better chance against Loghain. Yeah, damn. I don't trust this early as she knows too much. That's kind of fair. She's obviously more than a maidservant, but I imagine it's useful for Anora to have a trusted attendant who can move more freely than she herself. And consider what aid she and the Queen might be to us. If Anora has truly turned against her father, she becomes the one thing we lack. Someone with a true understanding of Loghain's plans and allies. With her guidance, we can form a far more successful strategy against him. Okay. Um. Hmm. Do you truly think Loghain's daughter would turn on him? From Alina's story, he turned against her first. If he truly intends to sacrifice her, I think it would be strong motivation to break the parental bonds. In any event, I would far rather have the opportunity to ask such things of her than simply hear about her murder. If Honora speaks out against Loghain, Hers would indeed be one of the most powerful voices of the landsmeet. Mm, okay. But if I break in, can't they frame me for her murder? <laughs> no more easily than without you there. There will be none to see it, save those who are already loyal to Loghain. And given your reputation, Warden, I think Loghain knows it's safer to carry out his plots far from where you could disrupt them. Okay. What do you know about Queen Honora? She and Kaelin were promised as children and practically raised together. She was a smart child, knew how to listen, and how to blink those big blue eyes and get anything she wanted. Her mother's looks, her father's brains, and the best tutoring Merrick's money could buy. It's a potent combination. Okay, I should get going. As you like. My palace is your palace. My palace is your palace, okay. Alistair, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Rubbing your gloves together. Meditations and odes to bees. Oh, fair damsel of the garden, our lesser of honeysuckle and rose, I humbly beg your gracious pardon for the offence that here arose. Surely your work is far too vital to be interrupted by one like me. I am in no way entitled to earn the notice of a honeybee. I was a fool to pluck that flower for my lady fair. On my honor, I swear to bring you dozens more within the hour, if you give me leave to try. Listen, traveler, if you would walk the garden path some spring, mind that you don't trespass, for the gardeners do sting. Anonymous. Anonymous. Alistair, did you read my beautiful poetry voice? Do you like the, the sound of it? I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Ask away. I have some questions. Of course. Tell me about the Grey Wardens, such as they are. Thank you, Alistair. Very cool. Who's in here? Who's in the master bedroom? Another book. It shall be done. King Marek Theron. It is difficult to separate the man from the myth. The last survivor of the bloodline of King Kalanhad, the Silver Knight, Marek drove the Orlesian forces from Frolin's borders reclaimed the throne and fr freed our people from foreign tyranny, all true and all larger than life. He was born in hiding near Cathal's Crossing to the rebel queen Moira and grew up in the rebel camps, an outlaw in his own country. When the rebel queen died, Marek inherited her homeless nobles, malcontents and displaced freeholders, and with the aid of his friend Lokain Maktir, built them into an army. After the pivotal battle of Riverdane, Marek took the throne. He married Rowan, daughter of Rendorn Garen, Isle of Redcliffe, and began the long, slow process of rebuilding everything Orlay had demolished during 70 years of occupation. Nice. What's in the chest? Heavy chainmail gloves. Love it. All right. It's funny that they put Stan in my bedroom. He 
wishes to be closer to me than I thought. If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. <laughs> Your desire? Your desire? Oh, hang on a minute. You didn't wish to join me in my tent, but do you wish to join me in my royal bedchamber with Sten watching in the corner? <laughs> Give me a second. I have to save the game before talking to you because it's a minefield. If one more sub your desire. Let's have a look. We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. I know. If your question, however, ask what you will. <clears throat> oh God, you are a heartless shrew. You know that. And so, what do I have to do to get on your good side? I feel like there's a Morrigan disapproves incoming. Ask stupid questions, win stupid prizes. You are already on my good side, such as it is. Or do you seek something else? Something more... intimate? Oh, oh, I think I'm ready to move forward. We have gone through so many different stages in this relationship in so many different ways, all out of order. It's the most confusing relationship I've ever been in in my life. Um, I'm ready to move forward. First date, sex. <laughs> Fourth date, getting into the trauma. Seventh date, let's make it official. Oh, good to know that. Let me see. I would expect favor to come with a price. Perhaps you would be willing to pay a compliment. Is that too much? Hmm? I would give you every compliment in the world. Um, <clears throat> I am brilliant and amazing. <laughs> You are brilliant and amazing. I am but a humble dwarf. I suppose stating the obvious will have to do. Yes. Very well, then. You are on my good side. Best watch your step that you don't fall off. Okay. <laughs> sure, I'm ready to move forward. We're now official. I mean, you gave me a ring and married me, but that's fine. Yep, I think that was fine. If one more sub your desire. Um we are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question. Will a kiss actually will a kiss actually happen this time though if we try? And you wish to do this in front of an audience, do you? Come to think of it, I find myself no longer caring. Woo! Public displays of affection. Sten's just like, hey, whoa! That's what I'm standing in the corner of this bedroom for. Sten the voyeur, uh, Morrigan disappeared. Morrigan's over there now. All right. <laughs> Why is Morrigan over there with my dog? What happened? Confused? Sten, keep your back turned. We're about to get freaky. And dog, keep your back turned also. <laughs> Why are you over here now? If one more... I'm so I'm so confused. We are hardly alone, so nice. So we were not allowed to kiss in private at the camp, but we can kiss in our bedroom with Sten watching, and uh, to a to a great tune. He barks happily, wagging his tail. Morgan, I'm confused. Oh, oh, there was also you're in here. I didn't even see you there. This is not as defensible as I would like, but it will do. What is your wish, Kadan? What? I don't know, man. I wanted to discuss something you mentioned. I feel like we already did this. Speak then. Uh, oh, no. Cool. This is a new question. Why do the Tal Vashoth fight you? Isn't it the nature of a wound to bleed? I have no more answers than you. Why do we fight the Darkspawn? Why do the Darkspawn fight us? I mean, fair. Um, don't the Tal Vashoth give reasons? Now and then. Do the reasons matter? It makes little difference to those they fight. Tell me then, why do you fight? Uh, why do we fight? It's a good question. It's a mixture of all of the above. To defend my people, because I'm an honorable dwarf. In the Antam, we are told of the enemy. Assume he loves as you love, hates as you hate, and fights just as hard as you. It's a lie, of course, but does that matter? So long as you stand and believe you know your enemy. The Tal Vashoth wish us dead, and we wish to go on living. The point of our war is war. Okay. Let's go. As you wish. Good job, Sten. 
Uh, I'm going to read this book. Don't mind. Parvolan, the Occupied North. Okay, that's why you're here. That's why you're here. As soon as you get that title, you're like, ah, he's been doing a bit of reading. You can recognize that it's associated with him. In the 30th year of the Steel Age. Here we go. This is an example that I can give. Um, I'm going to highlight this because I remember it being read, stated once, and here it is, stated again, is I... In a codex entry or something that happened, um, I used to f struggle with how to refer to the years and the ages and whatnot. I was like, uh, how do I say this out loud? And we finally saw something that said in the, you know, as an example, the 30th year of the Steel Age. And then from that point forward, I started saying that as well. Because I was like, cool, the game said it. So I'm going to just say it like that. And then I remember... Uh, so someone was annoyed at me that they were like, that's not how it's ever been said. You don't say it like that. And now I have proof once again, it's it said this way in the 30th year of the steel age, the first Canary ships were sighted off the coast of Parvolan in the far North, marking the beginning of a new age of warfare. History calls this the first Canary war, but it was mostly a one-sided bloodbath with the Canary advancing far into the mainland. Canary warriors in glittering steel armor carved through armies with ease, their cannons, the likes of which our ancestors had never seen, reduced city walls to rubble in a matter of seconds. Stories of Canary occupation vary greatly. It is said they dismantled families and sent captives to learning camps for indoctrination into their religion. Those who refused to cooperate disappeared to mines or construction camps. For every tale of suffering, however, there is another of enlightenment, deriving from something called the Kun. This is either a philosophical code or a written text that governs all aspects of Kunari life. Perhaps both. One converted Seharan reported uh, pity for those who refused to embrace the Kun, as if the conquerors had led him to a sort of self-discovery. For all my life, I followed the Maker wherever his path led me, he wrote. Uh, but in the Kun, I have found the means to travel my own path. It has been said that the most complete way to wipe out a people is not with blades, but with books. Thankfully, a world that had repelled four blights would not easily bow to a foreign aggressor, and so the exalted marches began. The greatest advantage of the Chantry-led forces was the Circle of Magi. For all their technology, the Canari appeared to harbour great hatred for magic, faced with cannons the Chantry responded with lightning and balls of fire. The Canari armies lacked the sheer numbers of humanity. So many were slain at Manus Pell on both sides that the veil is said to be permanently sundered. The ruins still plagued by restless corpses. Goddamn. But each year the Chantry pushed further and further into the Canari lines, although local converts say the Kun, uh, to local converts to the Kun proved difficult to return to Andraste's teachings. By the end of the Storm Age, the Canari were truly pushed back. Ravain was the only human land that retained the Canari religion after being freed, and its rulers attempted to, fight, uh, to barter a peace. Most human lands signed the Lomeran, uh, the Lomeran Accord, accepting the Tevinta Imperium. It is a shaky peace that has lasted to this day. From the Exalted Marches and Examination of Chantry Warfare by Sister Patrine. Chantry Scholar. Good reading this, then. Good history. Book. The Banorn. The central Ferelden Valley has always been a paradox. No single ban holds more than a few dozen leagues of farmland, yet together they govern a greater territory than all Terns and Isles combined. This collection of independent bands is known as the Banorn, and it is the heart of Ferelden politics. No person has ever sat upon the throne of Ferelden without first winning the approval of the Banorn. Queen Fionn, who had the misfortune to take the throne in the 18th year of the Steel Age, that's how it's said, in the 18th year of the Steel Age, wrote of the Banorn, there have been three wars this year fought over elopements, five fought over wool, and one started by an apple tree. It isn't even winter yet. Who would believe that these same bands, now trying so hard to kill one another, just last year united to give me the crown? Good learning in here. Love it. Nice. I think we can take the, the exit now. Who would have thought the lands meet would be so thrilling? We get to kiss Morrigan, learn about the lore of Thetis, which stands for the Dragon Age setting, and then we can leave. <laughs> I'm, <st> <laughs> I'm obviously in a mood today. Okay. Um, and as you could tell by when we went to Redcliffe um, to associate 
you know, and begin a lands meet. I'm back with my trio for it. I'm back with my uh, double mage Alistair setup because we've been rocking with everyone else for a while, mix and matching. Um, but we're going back with, with this group, our would-be king and our two mages plus dog. We will be an unstoppable force with that in mind. Now, aha, we are in the Denerim Market District and guess what? The gates have been opened. Slim has a job for us finally, which means that we could probably also go to the Elven Alienage. And ooh, how exciting. Okay, so we were in the Isle of Redcliffe's estate just there, and now we can go to the Isle of Denerim's estate. We've got the Royal Palace and then Fort Draken uh, at some point, I assume. We can start doing more Denerim quests. How thrilling. Let's go to the servants' quarters. Actually, never mind. I think that's literally just going to take us back into this room, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Hang on. We haven't been in here, though because I decided to not check the doors. Hello, servants. I'm looting your things for another love letter. I think that's all of them because it just said quest updated. I think we've finally got them all. Um, Which one haven't I read yet? Ah, oh, Patricia. I don't remember this. Donegan, on pain of death, you are now warned. My father found the letters you previously sent and is watching as I write to tell you our relations are over. We must remain chaste. Patricia. I think we did it. You have found all 12 love letters. Return them to the well-connected bartender in the Nord Noble in Denerim for your reward. I did it. Fine. Oh god, I gotta do this every time. Yeah. I found 12 love letters in all of the land. Was it 12? Or did I just literally read the letter 12? Was it 12? Yeah, it was 12. I'm not crazy. I thought I just read the letter that I saw on screen then. And it was like, hmm? Huh? I don't know what the point of me assembling a party was when I just walked in here. Cat. You cannot pet the cat. Zero out of ten game. Oh, you gave... Oh, another cat. On the table, no less, at dinner time. Just eyeballing a fish. Why am I not surprised? This is a total pentiment moment. Schlau and Mousefanger from the Pentiment game. If you haven't played or watched my Pentiment playthrough yet, shame on you. Maybe if I drop a couple of good plates, they won't make me dry them anymore. <laughs> Smart thinking. Can't talk now, sir. Mistress Agatha would have my hide. Mistress Agatha, indeed. Dinner's not ready yet, and don't ask. It'll be served when it's done, and that's that. Now, show out of my kitchen. Okay. <laughs> Cats are allowed on the table. All right, I'll get out. I'll get out of your hair then. Yes. Indeed. Back to it. Back to it. You must be vastly relieved, Will. Relieved? I do not understand what you mean. Most your age would spend much of their time preoccupied wondering when they might perish. Yet you already know. <laughs> Eavesdropping is not considered very polite, dear. A fortunate thing, then, that I do not consider myself bound by such rules. In response to your question, I know only that I died once. I do not know how much time I have left, only that it is very little. That is not so very different than before, surely. You are an old woman. One who keenly <laughs> appreciates that our time in this world should be spent doing what is important. I have always lived by such a philosophy. How reassuring. Nice. Turn your attention elsewhere. My business does not concern you. Of course. Thank you and farewell. <laughs> I'm but a humble dwarf. Slim Cauldry, my boy, I've come to do some more stealing. Good to see you, Warden. Fighting the good fight, eh? As always, got anything for me, mate? One more swipe, and no one will ever forget it. I guarantee you'll love it. Six sovereigns. Sold! Tan Logain is out in the field. I figure you'd like to get back at him, right? 
Word is that his seneschal has been getting the Tern's crown all nice and sparkly for the landsmeet. The seneschal is taking a bit of a rest at the Nord Noble Tavern. He won't be there long. He has a heavy guard, but if you can make off with the tyrant's own crown, think of the embarrassment. That's all I know. I hope it's enough. The tyrant's own crown. Biggest swipe yet. Lugin Seneschal is getting the turn's crown polished for the land's meet. It's in the Nord Noble Tavern. Yes. Go and polish the crown at the local tavern. That's the best place for it. The use the same cloth they polish the the ale mugs with. What are those? What, what do you call them? Uh, cups. They're not called cups, you know. Uh, flagon of ale. I don't. Did I get it right? I think so. You're back, eh? No luck yet, eh? Keep trying. Yeah, but I also need a break-in spot. I'm following up a lead in the palace district. Ah, uh, okay. I can't get in now, but you never know. If it all works out, it'll make you a legend. Okay. So we can steal now, break in later. Um, let's have a look. Crime wave. Make active. All right, where are we going? Nord Noble Tavern, right? I got a couple of things to do in there, so that's fine. I'll do it now. Ah, uh, the Nord Noble. Just the just the old faithful. You're just the local. Foolish. Why would Logain leave half our own army to die when a blight threatens? I take him at his word. Oh. The battle could not be won. Even you must admit this Ooh. suspicious rash of mortality among the advisors to the crown. Bryce, Urien, Eamon. Eamon's not dead, more's the pity. The only thing that truly worries me is Eamon's notion of putting this bastard on Marek's throne. It's an ill precedent. True. I would rather see Anora keep the throne myself. Better it passes to the McTeer line than to some Byblo. Byblo. Okay, cool. Uh, there are a lot more people in here now that the landsmate has been called. People to talk to. What can I get you, stranger? Uh, I finished a favor. Not on leave. Quest completed. What can I get you, stranger? Is there still more? No, it's just these two now. Okay. Just those two. Nobody goes in the room by authority of Tan Logain. Ha <laughs> ha. Attack? Logain doesn't frighten me? Okay. <laughs> Lie. I have an urgent message for the Seneschal. And that, that urgent message is... <gasps> Yoink! You... Why, yes, yes. Come on in. Take me there. Of course. Seneschal, stand back. Men, <laughs> kill the warden. Uh, I, as soon as he was like, yeah, come with me. I was like, yeah, okay, fuck. Well, guess we'll, guess we'll just... Oh, no! We have to murder them all. Oh, shit. Let's finish oh, no. They're all going to get murdered. Oh no, everyone's gonna get killed. I like how the fucking Blackstone Irregular dude is in here. That's so funny. Kill the warden, now! That is hilarious. I shall do it. You smell great! Is that Paragon wearing? It really suits you. Away with you! We're at war! Anything goes! This guy's trying his best. Hey, he's gonna punch us! <laughs> he gets the worst death out of all of them! <laughs> oh man, when we're just literally like, we mask them and then this guy's like, Behead him! Kill the guy just doing his job! Turn Logan's crown. Value 48 sovereigns. <laughs> he gets the death blow. I just, that is so funny. God damn. Make us blessings upon you, Warden. <laughs> I? Be gone. I have important matters to discuss. Oh. 
I have no time to deal with supplicants. God damn, the noble families of Ferelden Codex entry by talking to people and they're like, excuse me, you are less than the shit on the bottom of my shoe. <laughs> shoe us along. The occupation left empty castles in its wake. Whole families were butchered in the initial invasion and all those who couldn't or wouldn't bend knee to the Emperor's puppet king were declared traitors and hunted. Many bloodlines ended on Chevalier's Blades and Dusty Crossroads, in forest clearings or in freeholds. And then there were the turncoats. To curry favour with their new masters, some nobles took up arms against their brothers. They betrayed and murdered the rebel queen, an act that created even more vacant titles and lands once King Marek exacted justice. That Ferelden did not fall apart after the Orlesians left is a testament to the strength of King Marek. The old families still held grudges against those who had sided with the Emperor, and those new families that had been granted titles were viewed as interlopers. The lands meets that followed Marek's coronation were tense, to say the least. All right, fellas, I thought I could get a dialogue with you. I'll wolf. Wonderful. Another one. I suppose you're here to ask for a donation too. Boy, take your petition to the Darkspawn if it's so important to you. They hold my Arlen now. I hear they're charitable folk. Okay. I'm not here for a handout. I'm a Grey Warden. Shouldn't you be dead then? How quick did you cut leash and run at Ostagar? No matter. I've nothing left for you to take, Grey Warden. Not even my sons. You're wasting your time here. But damn. Who are you? Gallagher Wolf. Arl of the West Hills. Or what's left of them. All of Southern Ferelden covered by black clouds. The ground rotting beneath your feet. Plagues and darkspawn raids going on until even the crows get sick of the smell of carrion. What's a little trifle like that when compared to the important troubles here in Denerim? There's no point talking about it. Leave me. I'm nothing for you anyway. All right, mate. There's nothing more to say. Pester someone else. I thought you were, we were going to have an opportunity to maybe help him or something. What do you suppose Eamon is playing at? Surely, he doesn't expect us to believe Anora unfit to rule, with her father to advise her. I wonder that myself. His timing is unfortunate. South Reach is overrun. I have little time to devote to politics at present. Overrun? Has the blight truly spread so far? Most of my freeholders have fled to Redcliffe and Lothering, but I doubt they'll be safe there for long. Make us breath. Bryland, I had no idea. Be careful how loudly you speak of it. Wolf lost both his boys. Oh. Stay, pray for us. Lost my uh, lost my game for a second there. It's like, oh. Um. That's that's very interesting that he's like sent them to Lothering. I'm just like, nobody, nobody, nobody tell him that Lothering was destroyed by the Darkspawn like six thousand years ago. You'll have to excuse me. I'm engaged at present. You're engaged? I'm sorry. I'm busy at the moment. All right, man. I'll just... As I'll just say. leave. Just checking that there's nothing going on in these rooms. No, nothing is private here. Um, cool. I didn't get any other codex entries. Let's just move on, then. There's people in all of these rooms. There's a whole bunch of new people now that have been added. Cam of Redside. I knew this was coming. Spent all the coin preparing, so I ain't dying over it. Oh, um, okay. What's, what's this guy here for? Oh, sorry, uh, I don't even know who you are. Nice. Um, didn't get a quest updated. What was that? Okay. Um, just murdering someone in someone's shop. Sorry, there, sir. Welcome to the wonders of Thedas. Welcome we to the wonders of Thedas. Hmm. Oh, a Tome of Arcane Technique? Give me that. 
Give me that. Oh, uh, 78 sovereigns. Look at that ring of ages. Look at the resistances on that bad boy. Eesh. Too bad I hate spending money. Uh, I'll take the arcane technique though, and I think we'll give that to. Um... Uh, let me have a look. What, what you got? Uh. Win. What are you doing right now? Oh, we almost got you to do mana clash, don't we? Completely drained and suffer spirit damage to the amount of mana they lost. Yeah, <laughs> win. Would you like to read a book? And would you like to know the ways of the mana clash? <laughs> so any mage is now doomed to face you? Yes. Sounds good to me. Black screen of doom. Is there anyone in here now? I have to go check out these areas now because I was just littering new NPCs in areas now. Who knows? Uh, this still has the skulls of uh, and bones of the last people that I killed in this warehouse. Nobody, nobody cleaning up in there. I'm just gonna frequently save just in case. We haven't had any crashes or weird bugs in Denerim for a while now, which is good. But you never know. I wonder if there's updated dialogue with uh, Jenna TV now. My own expedition, my own team. I can't wait to get going. Okay. Um, have you learned anything more about the urn? No, I haven't been able to go back. I am rereading all the books and manuscripts, though. Having been there, some cryptic passages are finally making sense. Imagine having to come in here and going don't you wish that guy that you were close with was still alive just i'm just here to remind you of that guy that died that you like oh come by anytime you like after all i owe this all to you don't you wish waylon was still here oh wait he still is let's go into your bedroom jenna tv oh look that's the blood stain of where waylon was killed don't you wish he was still alive, brother? <laughs> Some of the dialogue options are so funny in their own little way. It's like, yeah, we're probably not going to ask that one. All right, let's see if anyone's been drawn to the... What else we got around here? We got Wade's Emporium. I guess we'll check that out. Oh, maybe the Chantry is actually open as well. Um, that package, you lazy slut. It's worth more than you'll make in 10 years. Oh! <laughs> um, did not expect that word to be thrown into my Dragon Age game, but there it is. What the hell? So casually about it, too. Don't stare at me, Cho. I can have my father send you south to fight Darkspawn, you know. I've been fighting him in Orzammar, awesome, mate. You just called the servant a slut? Jesus. It's so nice to be in civilization. You can't buy Orlesian silks anywhere. Oh, I just realized something. As you say. Yeah. Yeah. I just realized something. Yes! Why am I not stealing things from these nobles? Golden tiara adored with a single gem. Nice. I'll take it. Uh, it's not worth much for a, for a noble, you punk, but I can give it to someone. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. The first noble that I come across that I was like, actually, yeah, we should be stealing from them. That's funny. Nothing to steal. Um, I wonder if we could steal from the, all the other nobles in the tavern. Um, let me check the the Nord Noble Tavern real quick. Nobles at the Nord Noble. Alright, you guys got anything for me? Steal. It has begun. Uh, I got a spirit shard, apparently. I'm getting frame drops running around here. While I may not be crashing, you still do get some performance stutters. Why won't it let me steal from you? 
will not let me steal from this guy. Be gone. I have important matters As you to say. discuss. Oh, cool. When we're talking to him, it's fine. <laughs> Injury kit. All right. So you can steal while you're talking to him. Yeah, for some reason it was just not working. Nice. I mean, we're not really getting anything cool here. We got the tiara. <laughs> just health potions and stuff. Just a bit of light thievery from the nobles. You'll just stand right in front of you. Very well. No? You'll have to excuse me. I, I shall do it. At present. Huh. Okay, it it's, works and then it doesn't work. This is weird. So the talking thing didn't work this time. Excuse me. I'm engaged at present. I'm trying to steal from you? Why are you making it so difficult? What if I'm all the way over here? Hmm. Not steal a ball from a ball? Weird. Probably just be a health thing anyway. What a shame. Alright, now we'll check uh, Wade's Emporium again. Elven alienage is going to be where the real stuff is. Because we ain't even been there yet. Anyone in here? Nope. I have no more Drake scales for you yet. All right, let's return this uh, crown to Slim. You're back, eh? The Tan's crown. Oh, that's rich. You have to admit that was worth every copper you paid me, eh? They're oh. calling you the Dark Wolf. What do you think of that? <laughs> Too bad no one can know. You could get a lot of action. There's nothing more I can offer you like that. Anything else you fancy? There's no way you can top that last heist, Wolf. <laughs> You're a legend. The nobles are still afraid to come out of their manners. I have one last job. A legend. Oh. oh a paltry ten sovereigns is my take. I had to finish the this one to get this. Okay. So I'm going to be a legend. I thought I already was. Ban Frandaril is one of the richest men in the entire kingdom. At his grand ball next week, he's displaying some of his priceless treasures. Paintings of old masters, the armaments of the first king of Denerim, and more. Oh, more. Mages have put up magical walls, but I've got a route that will bypass that. Once inside, I've no idea how you'll deal with the guards, but if you do, you'll be rich and infamous. I can't wait to see what people say. All right, uh, pulled out all the stops this on Ban uh, Fran Daryl, one of the richest men in the kingdom, is hosting a party. He's planning to display some of his priceless treasures at the party. I've got a key that bypasses the magical defenses of his estate. Let us break in to rob him. Aha, Ban of West Hill's estate. So we will leave and then come back. Sounds like a plan to me. I guess we can sell the crown. For 48 sovereigns, or of lesser value. Uh, I guess we'll keep the, um, I'm going to keep the crown for now, because I wonder if anything will actually happen with it after this lands meet. And then uh, if nothing happens, we'll, um, we'll sell it. All right, let's do a heist. Heist time. I wonder if there will be any nobles at the Pearl. Should check the pearl again. Hello? Oh, it's the, the game's struggling to load. Hello? Are you gonna get ambushed again? Feel like we're gonna get ambushed? There. 
A cunning trap. Haha, <laughs> bunch of traps. Oh yeah, I still need to find because last time we were here we found the glass phylactery, which is the sixth corpse for all of, for the um revenant. We still need to find one more of those. It's a trap. And so here is the mighty grey warden at long last. The crows send their greetings once again. Oh, Where is oh. Everett? I don't see him with you. How very disappointing. As everyone is dead. Okay, we have to lie. Oh, um, this this guy was name dropped by um, what's his face, the guy who we're doing contracts for. Um, oh, I'm almost tempted to reload. I wasn't expecting an encounter like this. I'm almost tempted to reload with Zev in the party. This feels like it would be much, much better if we did have him with us. I guess we can at least see two different outcomes for it. Uh, yeah, Zevran's dead. <laughs> Don't bother. He has a new name now. Well, he travels with you. Here I am, Talisan. Oh. Tell me, were you sent or did you volunteer for the job? Oh ho! Oh. And he makes an appearance. I volunteered, of course. When I heard that the great Zevran had gone rogue, I simply had to see it for myself. Is that so? Well, here I am in the flesh. You can return with me, Zevran. I know why you did this, and I don't blame you. It's not too late. Come back, and we'll make up a story. Anyone can make a mistake. Ooh, interesting. Is this... I wonder if this is what I was have been waiting for, because Zevran does not have anything that's come up from a companion quest like everybody else, and I've been trying to get something out of him, take him on the road, talk to him. Nothing's happened yet. This feels like this is potentially that. So it's just like part of the main plot, like the storyline just comes across. Zevran doesn't need the crows any longer. Oh, does Zevran need to live? I suspect I will manage just fine, Talison. I'm sorry, my old friend, but the answer is no. I'm not coming back. And you should have stayed in Antiva. Ooh, okay. Oh... We're about, we're forced into a fight. Indeed. Indeed. With Zev in the party. Okay. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Yeah! Oh, God. Um, okay. A bunch of us. Oh, a bunch. A genuine bunch of assassins. Okay. Let's do that. Got, got on trap. Disarming duty. Some of those traps. Okay. Time for a little bloodletting, I see. Okay, there's no music right now. No music. Everybody gets sleepy. Oh, he's running away. These assassins are trying their best. <laughs> Enough. Hi. And there it is. Talison is dead, and I am free of the crows. They will assume that I am dead along with Talison. So long as I do not make my presence known to them, they will not seek me out. Yes. Uh, so what does this mean? I do not know. It seems I have options now, whereas once I had none. I have enjoyed our company, but I am wondering if it is not time for me to leave. That would be the practical thing to do, no? There is a freedom awaiting me that I have never known. But I suppose the decision is yours. Will you let me go? <laughs> Persuade. Don't you want to stay for the treasure? Um... Oh god, there and then the option I doubt I'll need your help. Like it's not like even a nice departure. They say, nah, I don't need you. Like instead of it being like, you know, fr friendly. 
I wish you would stay and need your help. You made an oath. I think you should keep it. Well, I guess we're going for the persuade option. Don't you want to get the treasure? Mm, all right. You make a convincing <sighs> argument. You do seem to stumble onto treasure on a regular basis somehow. Let us return to the task at hand, then. There is still much to be done, yes? Okay. Sure. Zevin approves. Your wish? Um, new dialogue now, maybe? Whatever you'd like to ask. Can you tell me about that last mission now? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I suppose it is time. You have been a good friend to me after all. There is no reason to be silent. There is a reason I accepted this mission in Ferelden, far away from home, and it had nothing to do with any thought that I might lead the crows. Meeting you, after all, was quite an accident. My last mission before this one did not end well. Ooh. Okay. Is this a story or a confession? I do not know. A little of both, perhaps. You must realize that until that day I was cocky and arrogant. I was the best crow in Antiva, I believed, and I bragged of my conquests often, both as an assassin and lover. And lover. I got a fly in this room. God damn it. I got a fly in this room. I'm going to deal with this right now because I hate bugs. Fly situation resolved. Cocky and arrogant is the best crow in Antiva and bragged the conquest often. You were more cocky and arrogant? Oh, and now my game is glitched. Indeed, I was often told I was insufferable right before I ended up in bed with someone. Such is how it was. I paused the game for a second just to kill a fly, and now Zeverin is broken. Look at his look at his mouth, not being able to say words. All right, I've just restarted to get sound and dialogue, so we're in a different spot, because otherwise it was just going to be Zevran not talking at all. <laughs> uh, so he's, uh, he's assumed that he's dead along with Talizan. So what does this mean? I do not know. It seems I have options now, whereas once I had none. I have enjoyed our company, but I am wondering if it is not time for me to leave. That would be the practical thing to do, no? There is a freedom awaiting me that I have never known. Treasure. Mm, all right. Let us return to the task at hand, then. There is still much to be done, yes? All right. And now we can talk to Zev. Your wish? Your wish. Okay. Um, care to answer some questions? Whatever you'd like to ask. That last mission, then? Yes. I suppose it is time. There is a reason I accepted this mission in Ferelden, far away from home, and it had nothing to do with any thought that I might lead the crows. Meeting you, after all, was quite an accident. My last mission before this one did not end well. Is this a story or a confession? I do not know. A little of both, perhaps. You must realize that until that day I was cocky and arrogant. I was the best crow in Antiva, I believed. And I bragged of my conquests often. Both as an assassin and lover. Ooh. You were more cocky and arrogant? <laughs> Indeed. I was often told I was insufferable right before I ended up in bed with someone. <laughs> Such is how it was. One of the crow masters grew tired of my boasting. My bid for an incredibly difficult mark was accepted, much to my surprise. A wealthy merchant with many guards and completely silent. Talison agreed to be part of my team, as well as an elven lass named Rina. She was... A marvel. Tough, smooth, wicked. Eyes that gleamed like justice. Everything I thought I desired. Uh oh. Rina was special. I had closed off my heart, I thought. But she touched something within me. It frightened me. When Talison revealed to me that Rina had accepted a bribe from the merchant, told him of our plan. I readily agreed that she needed to pay the price and allowed Talison to kill her. Rina begged me not to. On her knees, with tears in her eyes, she told me that she loved me and had not betrayed us. I laughed in her face and said that even if it were true, I didn't care. But that wasn't true? I convinced myself it was. Talison cut her throat 
and I watched her bleed as she stared up at me. I spat on her for betraying the crows. When Taliesin and I finally assassinated the merchant, oh. we found the true source of his information. Rina had not betrayed us after all. He went for the, like, the coldest option too, like, as she's bleeding out, just like spits on her and she was actually innocent. Damn, I'm so sorry. I wanted to tell the crows what we had done, our mistake. Taliesin convinced me not to. He said it would be a foolish waste. So we reported that Rina had died in the attempt. We needn't have bothered. The crows knew what we had done. The master who disliked me told me so to my face. He said the crows knew, and they didn't care. And one day, my turn would come. Why would he do that? To rub it in my face, perhaps. That I was nothing. That she was nothing. You once asked why I wanted to leave the crows. In truth, what I wanted was to die. What better way than to throw myself at one of the fabled Grey Wardens? And then, this happened. And here I am. Do you still want to die? No. What I want is to begin again. Whatever it is I sought by leaving Antiva, I think I have found it. I owe you a great deal. Damn. You owe me nothing. I'm glad to have you with me. Let us return to your mission, shall we? Suddenly, I do not feel like standing about. Nice. Massive dexterity. Your wish? Whatever you'd like to ask. All right. Well, we got the we got the we got the backstory again. I'm game. Nice. Okay. We got the backstory, and Very well. I guess there wasn't really a companion quest to do, be done. but there was a you know an event for him nonetheless. These gloves look more on ornamental than offensive, with none of the bulk of an armored gauntlet. But that appearance is intentionally deceptive. Hidden iron plates encircle the wrist, providing little extra protective benefit but substantially increasing the weight behind the wearer's every thrust and strike. Gloves of guile. Nice. So much assassins. So much assassinos. Uh, I gotta open this chest again. So that's reload my save. Well, that's an interesting event to take place on the way to doing a break-in, being watched by the crows, but that frees us of... Uh, uh, the crow's eyes that were involved in our contract. One singular ice arrow. All right, let us continue on our way. This place looks very run down. South wing of Ban Frandel's estate. Very well. Hello. Ooh, lever. Secret room. Secret room. It's going to spin around, isn't it? No? Oh. Our, uh... How pointless. Oh, I've got Zev in my party now. <laughs> Didn't realize that. Uh, instead of Win, That's fine. We'll just rock with Zev for a bit. Okay, maybe there are a bunch of rooms with levers, and if you do a different bunch of levers together, you'll open something. I thought that lever would be a secret room in that room for sure. I guess we just have to find a sequence of levers. Maybe. Some sort of pattern, perhaps. Creepy vibes. Oh, a bunch of enemies have just appeared? A whole bunch of enemies have just appeared. Alright, so this was a trap of some kind. Lovely. Oh, hello. What's up? Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Watch out. Careful. This was a trap. 
We've been, we've been swindled. Slim has betrayed us. The legend has spread. Let's have at it. Love the group stun. Damn you! No, you first. Let I us end it. Like the grandmothers. All right, that's it. Victory. <laughs> Most excellent. <laughs> Interesting. How soldier? It has begun. What did pulling the lever do then? Wrong lever. Oh, now we have to fight our way out of here. The one singular archer that's remaining in here. In the paragon, watch <laughs> over me. Yeah. <gasps> We've got mages. You know what that means. You know what that means. Send me. Ha! You will learn to fear me. That's a decapitated mage right there. Now we get our hands. It shall be done. Run while you can. Oh, look at these decapitations. Let's go. All right, so we're not going down this way, according to this. I don't know. Maybe this is a secret room after all? Hmm. This 100% looks like a turntable. You're telling me this is not a secret wall? Very well. Maybe the secret is to not pull that lever. Ooh. Because otherwise this is just leaving, right? This takes us out of here. Well, we've gotta we've gotta get something out of this, right? Surely it was not for nothing. Cause those aren't barricades that you could just destroy because they're not targetable even though realistically we have weapons and we should be able to destroy it so the vault was just empty so we will return to to what's his face slim and be like uh nothing there my guy and he's like damn either he betrayed us and sold us out or he had Bad intel. He was fed wrong in intel for a trap. Well, I'll save here. There's got to be something with that lever, though, right? Hmm. Let's just return to Slim, then. Looky here, men. When I heard that one of the famous Grey Warden was uh. pilfering folk, I thought, can't be. But here he is. Looks like the Wardens have fallen hard. Ha! <laughs> Soldiers, kill him. Whoa! Whoa! That is a small army. Would be a shame if I put them all to sleep. Why can't I adjust the camera in this goddamn place? Oh, I hate when this when this happens. There we go. All right. We're shame if I put them all to sleep. <laughs> and then it would be a shame if I also paralyzed the archers. The group stun is so obnoxious. The group stun is so obnoxious. I am ready. <laughs> She was just about to activate the paralysis. What the hell? 
just about to activate paralysis. Characters are stuck. Shall we compete for points? Right. Let's go. <laughs> what a horrifying fate for all these soldiers to be massacred while they're paralyzed. Well, there you go. They caught wind of our legendary uh, reputation, and uh, we were. Shall be done. We were set up there. Ask away. You're getting in the way of my looting. Don't do it again, Alistair, or I will be forced to, to become the king of these lands. Alright. Oh, Fellas! Please. Thank you. No standing on the staircase when it's my turn to get down. Dwarf must get down quick. Alright. Time to return to Slim and be like, uh -huh. so about that, uh, about that mark you gave me. Let us return to him. All men are the work of our nation. Hello there. I can't believe Ban Frenderil fooled me. His guards almost nabbed you. I feel like a bloody fool, I do. Listen, I have to go. Here's your coin back. I won't take a silver because of the way that went down. Oh, wow. Well. Give me some time and come back. We'll get our revenge. We will. Ooh. He's left, but he may show up at a later time. I wonder if I just leave and come back if he'll be there. What the? Army of cats? Oh, what the hell? Army of cats. Army of cats. What is going on here? Why are there so many cats all of a sudden? And all of their meows are so short and interrupted. Why are there so many kitties? They are sinners who have given Cat gang? To false gods. What, With their short little meows? What's going on here? Ah, what the hell? Why is there a cat gang? Who has freed the kitties of Denerim? Follow the cat army. Puss in boots. I mean, they're actually taking us somewhere. Should... No? Are they taking us somewhere? What is happening? Who's unleashed the cats upon his lands? With, with their short little meows. What the fuck? I'm so very confused. Okay. No explanation for that one, right? I'm, so, I'm sorry, but what? I'm sorry, but what? Okay. So nice to be. Can't file. I don't know what to say about that. Can we go into the Chantry? Nope, it's still blocked. Alright. Confusing. Alright, let us leave. Maybe we'll head to the Pearl. And we'll see if uh, there's any nobles having a fun time at the Pearl. And we'll come back here and we'll see if Slim has returned. <laughs> what the hell? There's the warden, the thief. Oh, hello, again. One patrol's been wiped out already. Attack! Enemies! Um, okay, we're just under constant assault now. That's great. Um, and there's so many of them. I wonder if I can get away with that. Probably not. If I quickly... Of course, our group has been stunned. I wonder why. All right, let's try sleep first. Put them all to sleep. Now go for the group paralysis. Oh, 
all you need is just one to survive. Now we play a little. Look at them all sleeping. Take them out of the field for a bit. I see. Sleep and then waking nightmare. You'd think that sleep and waking nightmare would be a decent spell combination, don't you think? Run while you can. Yes. Why won't my character move when I keep asking him to do stuff? Look, I'm like, attack, and he just won't move. I'm getting very confused about that. He goes, as you say, I'm just going to stand still, though. I am your death. As you wish. So now when we travel around anywhere, we're getting wiped out by Denaron patrols. I shall do it. Okay, anyone in the pearl? Doesn't look like it. Okay. I have come here for no reason then. Well, we'll just now return. See if we get attacked by another patrol. Back to the market district. Not getting attacked. Cool. Is has Slim back? Maybe he'll come back after something else. Nope, he's not there. All right, we might have to wait. In that case, what we can do is we can go and check out the elven alienage for the for the first time. So that's another new location to Denerim that we haven't checked out. It's so nice to be in civilization. We hear about this son of Merrick. From Redcliffe, I hear. Are we supposed to be impressed? If R. Lehman's standing up for him, I'd say we should be. <laughs> I don't know why R. Lehman's complicating things. I thought he would calm all this fighting down, not make everyone even more upset. Maybe what he says is true. You ever think of that? The alienage is closed. Oh. The alienage. The alienage is closed. God damn it. It's still closed. Okay, never mind then. Uh, in that case, I guess we're going straight to the Isle of Denerim's estate to rescue uh, Queen Honora. Isle of Denerim's estate exterior. Oh, everyone's here. His lordship isn't seeing anyone. Okay. The servant's entrance is on the other side of the house. We must slip past this cloud to reach it. We will have to be very careful. Al Howe is inside. How is here? Yes, and wherever he goes, a great many guards go with him. What's the crowd gathered for? The estate is in poor repair. The new Al. He has not been very prompt in paying his workmen. I will be right behind you. Nor will the stonemasons. It's been a month since we've seen so much as a coin of house for our work. His lordship is much engaged with the region. He will hear your complaints as soon as he has the time. You're wasting your breath. And when will that be? At the dawn of the next age? Our people have families to feed. They can't wait forever on the Terran's whim. His lordship... Oh, for the love of Lady Andraste, just leave the lot of you. Standing out here whining isn't getting the door open for you. <laughs> All right. We know he's in there. 
Send him out to well, you know he's in there. Oh, <laughs> he's approaching. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. God damn it. That's funny. Someone's creeping around down there. I'm to Just leaving an absolute massacre wherever we go. We're really making a good positive case for our, ourselves, aren't we? We go to Denerim, steal from... Someone is coming. Steal from absolutely everyone. Look, quick. Hide in the bushes over here, everyone. I'll stealth ahead and watch this still not work. Because it will trigger an automatic cutscene, probably. Uh, but a stealthy dwarf walking on through the fields. No one will know that I am here. And the definition of stealth. Look at this place. So empty. Look at these beautiful pumpkins. Yes. Beautiful pumpkins indeed. Going to loot the gardens. Look at all these chickens. Ah, yes. Great loot. Great loot to be had today. Mushrooms. Singular. Um. Okay. I guess we're just going through this way. I said someone's coming, but then... What happens if I take myself out of stealth right now, I wonder? does make me wonder if that part with the guard watching from above was avoidable if we were in stealth, but sometimes it just ha things ha those things happen automatically still. Okay, I'm gonna just take myself out of stealth. Okay. I thought someone was coming. Oh, hang on, I saw a guard pop up. Aha! I saw a guard name pop up. I can distract the guards, but you must move quickly. No point in stealthing. <laughs> Wait, we need to put on our disguises. Polly, my lady does not have much time. My lady, it's not that much time. Are you all prepared? I will go distract the guards. What good are the uniforms if they won't get us inside? These two know who is allowed to come and go. They will not be fooled. But the uniform should work on most of those inside. Let's go. Cool. I will lure them into the courtyard. Wait in the bushes. Wait in the bushes. Okay. Disguises will allow you to pass by most guards without being attacked. There are many actions that draw attention, such as talking to ranking officers or attacking someone. Oh, wow. Attacking someone will blow your cover. It'll be removed if you enter combat. You can also choose to remove it by speaking to whoever gave you the costume. Oh, you must come. I saw something. A better fountain. I think it was a darkspawn. Darkspawn? They will drag us all underground to be eaten. Should we call for help? Did you fall off a cart full of stupid? Call for help? So they can see us act like scared little girls because of some knife-eared wench? They will eat us all alive. Please get help. If there is something out there and we don't sound the alarm, we'll look worse than scared. And trust these holy knickers. Fine, we'll check the courtyard, if it'll keep you from wetting yourself. But there's nothing there. Thank you. Oh, it was over here. Quickly. Quickly then, in we must go. I'll quickly save here. Oh, this is the other side, because there's a chest here. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. 
useless. When I saw the carts, I was like, oh, maybe it'll move later on in the game. Alas, not necessary. In we go. Sneaky time, let's get Queen of Nora. Ah, oh, it took me forever to be rid of those two. You must be careful now. The servants, they will not look closely at anyone in uniform. All guards are alike to a cook, no? But you should not draw attention to yourself. Most of the guards are new. They will not know you for a stranger at a glance. It is best you keep your distance from all of them and try to blend in. Where's Honora? She's in a guest room off the main hall. Andra, stay guide us. Oh, wait. This kitchen is a disgrace. How did the old armed servants ever cook anything in here? Just don't talk to anyone, I guess. For Andraste's sake, don't speak ill of the dead. This roast is going to be charred on one side. There's no help for it. We'll just trim it and feed the scraps to the dogs. Fetch me the celery root from the left. Yes, ma'am. When we're caught stealing on the job. The captain likes you. I heard him talking to the chamberlain. Hush, son. Don't him. What did he say? I how to level the thing. Are you time for idle gossip? I'm just running around them, I guess. <laughs> Oh, hello. We're just, we're just, I'm just standing here. That doesn't help, right? Just standing here. Just standing here with my face to the wall. Hello, fellas. I doubt there'd be anything useful if I looted these things, but I'm going to stand close to you and risk it anyway. Wow, leather skin boots. I'll take those. Sup? Don't shoot me with your bows, mate. I'm taking this very useful weapon. That I will just sell for money later. I know you're bluffing. Then call it why, don't you? Hmm? Are you playing cards or chit chat? I hate Why am I? Ooh. Ooh. Bunch of Mabari hounds, eh? Not in the tongues of all the nations of the world may the Maker's mercy be expressed before the light. On the mountain, before the light, all the mysteries of the ages become as leaves scattered. Bring in wind, I may win great battles before men. I may do great works of charity and compassion. I may give myself over to the flames, but without the Maker, I have nothing. Big hammer. The First Blight, Chapter 4. I'm glad I've got the previous three chapters. Founded at Weishaupt Fortress in the Anderfels, the Grey Wardens offered humanity hope in its darkest hour. Veterans of decades of battles with the Darkspawn came together, and the best amongst them pledged to do whatever was necessary to stem the tide of darkness that swept across the land. These great humans, elves, and dwarves pooled their knowledge of the enemy and formed a united front to put a stop to the Archdemon's rampage. And stop it, they did. Ballads are still stung, sung today of the great, uh, the first Grey Warden charge into the waves of Darkspawn at the city of Nordbotten, each Warden facing 10 or 20 Darkspawn at a time. Squadrons of Grey Wardens mounted on their mighty griffins, soaring through the blackened skies and battling the terrible Archdemon with spear and spell. Oh, what a sight it must have been. Incredibly, the Grey Wardens won that first battle. They raised their arms in victory, and suddenly there was hope. The Grey Wardens led the lands of men and the last stalwart defenders of the Dwarven Halls against the hordes of the Archdemon Dumat for the next hundred years, gaining and losing ground, but never backing away. From all over Thedas, they recruited whoever possessed the skill and strength to raise the Grey Wardens' banner, making no distinction between elven slave or human nobleman, and finally, nearly two centuries after the first old god rose from the earth, the Grey Wardens assembled the armies of men and dwarves at the Battle of Silent Fields. It was then that Dumart finally fell and the first blight ended. The Tevinter Imperium would face a new challenge with the coming of the prophet Andraste. Thoughts of the blight grew distant. With Dumart's defeat, the Darkspawn were no longer considered a threat, but with the wisdom of hindsight, we know that conceit proved foolish indeed. The task 
of the Grey Wardens was far from over. Nice. So, is, that, is he like what? What's, what's that guy doing? Oh, just ran right through him. Okay, I guess that confirms that we can get close to the soldiers. Ha! Sleep again. Okay, I feel like we're gonna have to fight our way out of here at some point. Like, this doesn't feel like it's gonna go down well. State exterior can't unlock. That's the front, I suppose. Oh, hello. So we're going in here. Oh, it's magically sealed. The warden is here, my lady. Thank the maker. I would greet you properly, but I'm afraid we've had a setback. Um. Okay. Magically sealed door. How do I know you're really Queen Anora? True. How am I supposed to answer that? Shall I try to shove my crown under the door? Do you think the royal family has a secret knock? My host was not content with leaving me under heavy guard. He sealed the door by magic. Okay. Uh, why didn't you mention this before, Alina? I did not know. There were only guards here when I left. We must get her out of there. Don't panic, Alina. Find the mage who cast the spell. He'll most likely be at house side. Okay. Can't I use a mage of my own? So much for secrecy. Well, if he didn't know you were here, he soon will. Fine, I'll be back soon. Thank you, Warden. My prayers go with you. Town Howe will probably be in his rooms. They're at the end of the hall, on the left. Great. Are we ready to fight a bunch of people? Because it feels like that's going to happen. Probably in his rooms. The last door on the left. Sure. Dungeon. Troll in the dungeon. Hang on a minute. Did I miss this door? What is this dungeon? Oh, it's the one that you can't unlock. What is this dungeon? All right. Last one on the left. Let's check everywhere else first. Uh, statue room. Statue facing the wall. Statue not facing the wall. Two dog statues. Weird. It feels like this would be another thing that, like, an environmental puzzle you would do something with. It's, like, laid out like that. But there is nothing. Hello. A book for me to read, eh? Gwarren. The human settlement of Gwarren is built directly on top of a dwarven outpost by the same name. Prior to the First Blight, in a time where Ferelden was not yet a nation and was still carved up into barbarian tribes, the outpost served as a source of salt and a means of which, by which the dwarves could reach the sea lanes of the Amaranthine Ocean. Unwilling to come to the surface, the dwarves made an agreement with the local turn to build a port and relied on the humans to ferry goods between the ships and the underground outpost. This made Gwarren a prosperous place and extraordinarily wealthy for a time. When, in the Divine Age, the Dwarven Kingdoms fell to the Darkspawn and the Deep Roads were closed off, so too did the Dwarves disappear from Gwarren. The human settlement, the envy of surrounding barbarian tribes, was assaulted and sacked, its wealth stolen. The town remained, however, and despite its remote location, continued to find value as a source of fish and timber. As the first settlement liberated by King Marek and Loghain during the Ferelden Rebellion, Gwarren was eventually granted to Loghain when he became turn in the 11th year of the Dragon Age. Nice. Alright. Very well. The will hear us. Haha. <laughs> Everyone's at dinner, don't worry. <laughs> In that case, come here. What's up? Someone's here. Look, you didn't say nothing. Wait, who are you? You're not on my watch. Call the watch. We've got an intruder. Nice. I wanted to see if that would work. <laughs> and, uh... You will learn to fear me. I am. Um, well, our disguises are gone. So, um, 
probably wasn't a good idea to disturb the disturb the lovers, so let's not do that. I was wondering if there would be like a blackmail option, because we obviously caught him doing something that he shouldn't. Uh, no more talents for you, big boy. Don't know what to tell you. So now Dex is just permanently going to have a level up. Ah. It shall be done. Gladly. How shield. This shield has belonged to the Isles of Amarinthine since Kalanhad's time. There are scars in the enamel from Avar axes or lesion swords at heated debates with the Banorn. Plus 12 defense. Nice. It's a good shield. Um, Alistair, what have you got again? What's your shield currently? Kalen's shield. Let's have a look. Wait. Oh, you're wearing a, we're wearing a disguise. Right. I was like, why the fuck aren't you wearing any of your stuff? Um, House shield, I think is, um, better than Kalen's shield. But does, does this not have a set bonus? Yeah, when it's equipped with a blade, bonus to stamina regen. We will keep it. 12 defense, though. I don't know. What's our current defense? 75. Medium gold bar. Look at the... Oh, oh, money, baby. I'll take it. I like that our helmets are now off again because I've gone into my inventory. It's funny how that works. Like, I have the hide helmet mod, but it allows it for the disguise, and now it doesn't <laughs> again. Another book. Antiva. In the rest of the civilized world, it is common belief that Antiva has no king. I assure you, gentle readers, that this is untrue. The line of kings in Antiva has remained unbroken for two and a half thousand years. It is simply that nobody pays attention to them whatsoever. The nation is ruled in truth by a collection of merchant princes. They are not princes in the literal sense, but heads of banks, trading companies, and vineyards. Their power is conferred strictly by wealth. Uh, but Antiva is not primarily renowned for its peculiar form of government, nor for its admittedly unparalleled wine. Antiva is known for the House of Crows. Since Antivans are well known for being good at everything but fighting, it is more than a little ironic that Antiva possesses the most deadly assassins in the world. Their fame is such that Antiva keeps no standing army, no king is willing to order his troops to assault her borders, and no general is mad enough to lead such an invasion. The attack would likely succeed, but its leaders would not see the day. Cool. Chest of documents, eh? Grey Warden documents. Papers bearing a Grey Warden seal. The text is gibberish, probably encrypted. Oh. Okay, I'll take that. As you say. As you say. What? Who goes there? What the hell? What the hell? God, what the hell is going on right now? Hello. Uh. I thank you for creating such distraction, stranger. I have been waiting days for the opportunity. Do you think you could... Alistair? Is that you? Who... Wait. I do know you. You were at my joining. He's one of us. <gasps> A ward of Morlay. Jada, I think. Or was it Monsumar? I'm afraid I don't remember your name. Amri Orden, senior warden of Jada, but born and bred in Hyever, and glad to be home. And another great warden from Morlay, too. Um, wow. Um, I guess, yeah, are these your papers, the great warden documents? Um, what are you doing here? For the most part, attempting to hold my tongue. I was sent when we received no word from King Kaelin as to the outcome at Ostagar. Wow. The king had invited all the wardens of Olay and their support troops to join him. Then nothing. Hmm. Goddamn, okay. Um... How large a force did you bring with you? 
We had 200 wardens and two dozen divisions of cavalry. The first we heard of Logain's edict was when everyone was turned back at the border. That was when the rumor reached us that wardens were being blamed for the massacre. We finally decided it was safest to send someone alone to learn how best to fight the Blight and this regime simultaneously. As a native Ferelden, I volunteered to make the crossing. Oh, okay. But the Archdemon's nearly here, where we have no help. The other Wardens won't risk their strength fighting Ferelden's civil war. If they spend themselves against Loghain, there is truly no hope. They recall accounts of the first blight, how many cities fell. If Ferelden is too foolish to save itself, at least, we'll be ready when the Archdemon leads its forces further. Besides, I hear you haven't been doing badly at raising an army yourself. True. But perhaps if the Edict can be lifted, I will send a message as soon as we are gone from this place. Where's Hal? I saw him going to the dungeons. He may still be there. Okay. How did all Hal capture you? With an offer of hospitality and a poison chalice. I was fool enough to think Loghain didn't yet know who I was. Wow. All right, are these your papers? Yes, these are my records. The names of the dead I could recognize at Ostagar. What I could find of Duncan's own recruitment records. Copies of the joining ritual I rescued from our Denerim vault. Those should never be seen by any outside eyes, but I trust in their encryption. Mm hmm, copies of the joining ritual. Can you induct other Grey Wardens? Would that I could, for Ferelden sorely needs them. But for the joining to work, the recruit needs not only fresh darkspawn blood, but a drop of blood preserved from an archdemon. Ferelden's supply should have been in the vault, but it was gone. I can only imagine someone took it out and Loghain either confiscated or destroyed it. Damn. Is there more you can tell me about the Wardens? This is hardly the best place to talk. We've been staying with Arleman at his estate. If you need a place to stay, I'm sure he'd make you welcome. At Arleman's, then. And good luck, brother. Oh, you're not gonna... okay. Damn, okay, we got a, a Grey Warden. We got another Grey Warden! We're just chilling. Okay, this is how we get to the dungeon. For a second there, I thought we were about to have another party member. Especially another Grey Warden. Alright. Nice. Oh, our disguises are off. Nope, they're back on again. With helmets! And we're about to get into combat, so those disguises are about to be removed. hey -ya! Who goes? Oh. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, this is funny. Quit, oh, quit kidding around. You know me. I will say nothing. Anybody tries to come in here without Hal's say so, we get to do what we like with them. Oh, okay. We finally got a bit of entertainment here, lads. Sure, yeah. okay. <laughs> I think we've got some entertainment here, lads. <gasps> Dude gets way too excited for combat. Are you not wearing. Yes, okay. Why are you. Oh, I see what's happened to you. Because the strength requirement for the stuff. Okay. I see. My helmet's been removed too. Okay. God damn it. What are you, what are your stats? 41. You just need one more <laughs> strength so you can wield some things. Um, okay. Let me see here. What was your what was your gear? So you need 42 strength for these two. So if we just give you Helm of Honleith. You can now wield the greaves and the gauntlets. Perfect. And then we'll put that back on. You are now dressed as you were before. And with Onleith, uh, I believe you had this. And you had this. Lovely. I was like, why do you not have shoes on? Trap there. Send me! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! <laughs> 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 Nice shield bash there. Uh, 
so so slow. I'm walking in grease. An order. I haven't been this hurt in ever. I am ready. Your order shall be given. Lovely. As you say. As you say. Cell door that cannot be unlocked. God, we're on such a journey right now, aren't we? Just trying to get Queen Anora out. That's led us on quite a wild goose chase. God, I was just hearing a bunch of screams down here as well. These creatures have oh. no true reason to fight us. Ooh, nice swing. Too easy. I love this game. It's your time to die. God damn scatter shot, dude. Use the gun. Watch out! It shall be done. Yeah. Chest is in this room. Hello there. Goodbye. Oh my dear lord. Flame. Flame. Flame? Flame, dear flame. Perhaps we should move everybody into the room then. So fine. I right. see. Kill the mage. Oh, this should be good. As you say. <laughs> Run while you can. Lovely. We got some mages down here, eh? I shall do it. Very well. Oh, 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 excuse me. All right. Go. So did I interrupt something here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Sleepy time for torturers. Another battle. Sleepy time for torturers then. It shall be done. God, all the bodies. Don't leave me here. Oh, God. Get 
me out of here. Huh? That's an order. Oh my god. Uh, I've never used this before, so hold on, just in case I accidentally split you in half. Was this oh, okay. to be a lesson? Did my father think it funny to leave me for so long before sending you? Um, I have no idea who you are. Who are you? Then my, my father didn't send you? I am Oswin, son of Ban Sigurd, of the Dragon's Peak Banon. Oh. If you aren't one of our soldiers, pray tell me, who should I be thanking for my rescue? Okay, I am Meepo, here for the rightful King Alistair. Marek's bastard. And I need not question why you're here, for your friend's oh. claim to the throne is the greatest threat to Loghain's regime. Oh. You have my heartfelt gratitude. And I assume the gratitude of the entire Dragon's Peak Banon. If my father sent no one after me, I can only assume that he does not yet know the true colors of the snakes he is allied with. But if you talk to him, I'm certain he would offer you any reward you might ask. Nice. I thought he was about to be like, screw you. Um, will your father side against Loghain at the Landsmeet? Then there is a Landsmeet after all. How said the Isle of Rickliffe was dead and the Landsmeet called off? I swear, if there be any forum to speak out against Loghain, my father will be there. Now, please, I must try to get to him. I cannot see the last of this place too soon. Tortured Noble. Inform Ban Sigurd about his son's imprisonment. You freed Oswin, the son of Ban Sigurd, from our Al Alhan's torture room. Sigurd might appreciate being told about this. Okay. They want to accidentally activate the device and split him in half, but sheesh. Just some uh, just some casual everyday imagery as you walk in here and see heads on a spike wall. Dude, the atmosphere in Dragon Age continues to be impeccable. It's it's so good. God damn. All right. Hello, I've come to kill you. Come, let us end this. Uh, 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 man, man with big ham, man with big hammer, eh? Uh, uh, I am armed. Key to the lower prison. Damn, this, this place is never going to end, is it? Very well. So this goes to the lower prison. Oh, this is okay. We finally got something else with the with the Rexel missing in action. Another Denerim quest finally has uh, proceeded. Hello, who are you, Saurus? What month is it? Are you some enemy of our Lurians? Please, I feel like I've spent half my life down here. Um. Alarian died months ago. Dead? Then who's ruling? His son, Vaughn, he struck me down and I woke up here. People were so angry, they, they were thinking of petitioning the king. The king is dead as well. Logain rules in his place. There have been many changes since they caught me. I need to find out what happened. I need to get home. Or flee the city. I I thank you for your aid, stranger. I wish I had more than gratitude to offer. They said to retreat. The horn sounded and we turned and then the screams. We rode and they screamed and screamed and... <sighs> Um, I'll put you out of your misery. Kill him. Okay. Um, what do you mean, retreat? Were you at Ostagar? Mother, can you smell the blood? They said it was only Darkspawn. But we ate them too. They died. And we left them. In the swamp. The witch. The witch. He's obviously mad. 
I don't think you'll get anything more out of him. You're Rexel, aren't you? Your family is looking for you. No family. No family. All friends. All daughters. All wives are dead. All wives. Um. Jesus. Why is the first option just kill him? You need to go home, leave this accursed place? Um. I forgot what the quest was about. Need to go home. Leave. Yes, leave. Find someplace safe. Um, as everyone approves, talk to Chancer Rosamond in the Market District. In the depths of Alhouse Dungeons, you found the missing veteran Rexel. He had been driven mad from torture and imprisonment, but is now free. You should report back to the Chancer in the Market District for a reward. Why do I feel like... Oh, hello. I swear allegiance to King Kalen of Ferelden. King Kalen of corpses. Okay, um, what... Why do I feel like this could have negative repercussions? It's like, ah, crazy man's on the loose and he's gonna kill my wife, Morgan. I'm a, I, I have no idea how, how that's gonna go. Chest. Oh, that's, that's that. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, well, the Grey Warden. I must say I'm surprised Eamon would condone you invading my castle and murdering my men. Is he losing faith in the persuasive powers of his land's meat? I'm here for Honora. <laughs> the traitorous bitch has you under her thumb. Honora does love games. I'm surprised she'd play with the likes of you. You should have left when you had the chance, Warden. Slunk off to the Anderfells to hide with the rest of your kind. This land's meat is a farce. Logan will triumph and you will die. Okay, well, he's, he's about to have one less supporter. So... Okay, we're gonna have my dog go for you, and you are going to do mana drain on this one. Boop. And then Morgan's gonna do solo parallels. On you. You're gonna be frozen, my boy. Nice. You tried your best, Al How, douchebag. You got nothing on a couple of roguish boys. Make a spit on you. I deserved more. British villain dies. Bite back axe. Familiar to the hand, but as far from a woodcutter's tool shed as an axe can get. Worked by the best enchanters, money can hide from the chantry. I like that description of the best enchanters, money can hide. An all house key. I shall do it. Gotcha. Um, high prison. Gotcha. Okay. Well, um, let's push further in. While we can. Hello? It's here. Vaughn. Mm, who's there? Stay away. You can't do this to me. I'll have you all flayed. I'm the Arl of Denerim. Oh, this was the son. Arl Lurian died at Ostagar. Who are you? I'm Vaughn Kendall's, heir to the Arling of Denerim. It's true. Too many of our troops were lost at Ostagar. When the riots started, Howe came with men to reinforce the garrison here. Or that's what he claimed. As soon as I let him into the palace, he threw me in here. One more victim of the Elven uprising, he said. Let me out of here. I'll do anything. Okay. Um, 
Get her, I'm just better off without you. Kill him. Okay. Uh, Landsmeet has been called. I need your voice. Of course. Anything. Just let me out. Why are we... Okay. Hmm. Uh... Hmm. I guess this could be good in the short term for getting his voice for the landsmeet, but maybe not good in the long run. I swear you won't regret this. Hopefully not. So everyone disapproves. Because, yeah, because it had to do with the elven uprising. Make it have mercy on your faithful servant. Grant me a place at your side. Grant me the cleansing flames. Under your stay, Bride of the Maker, have mercy on me. I'll stun her. Is that you, little sister? No, I, I don't know you, do I? Are you real? Ah, uh, who are you? I, I'm Erminric, Knight Lieutenant of the Denerim Chantry. You aren't one of the Terns men? He sounds like he's in lyrium withdrawal. He's got all the signs, confusion, weepiness. He probably doesn't even know what he's saying. If the Grand Cleric knew he were in here, she'd be spitting hot coals. Nobles don't have authority over Templars. I... Uh, I failed in my duties, Maker. Forgive me. I failed, and there's no telling what he's done. What are you talking about? Who are you talking about? The Malefica. He had turned blood magic upon Templars and Circle Mages to escape from his tower. Near Redcliffe, I cornered him, but the Thames men took him from me and brought me here. Oh, this Maleficar was his name, Joan. Yes. He destroyed his phylactery. We were spread out, trying to find him. I was alone. I... You are real, aren't you? My dreams are so strange now. Please, if you're not a dream, help me. What do you want me to do? Give this ring to my sister, Alstan. Tell her. Tell her I'm sorry. Please, ask her to pray for me. New quest, Lost Templar. Okay. Um, Iminric gave you his signet ring. He wants you to give it to his sister, Ban Alstana. Lady of perpetual sorrows, pray for me. Okay, things tucked away in the high prison there. Was freeing Vaughn a good idea? Oh, I don't know. Was killing him in cold blood a good idea? Also, do not know. Probably not. Okay. Nice. That is the decision that has been made, I suppose. Let us go and rescue... Oh. Well, I guess I just realized that the... the mage that was with him is, is dead. And there's a bunch of enemies nearby, like I said, we'd have to deal with. This is gonna be fun. As you say. Time to fight everyone. Don't belong in here. Well, there can't be any witnesses if they're all dead now. I guess. <laughs> Is your time to die? <laughs> they all not get put to sleep. Confusion. Okay. Let's go for one of these bad boys then instead. <laughs> Show off, you will not all sleep. You will all die paralyzed. Oh, maybe I did the wrong thing. Maybe I didn't do. Did I? No, I swear I did sleep. Maybe I did miasma. I am armed. Fools! 
Oh. Fools! Wipe them out! Yeah. Let's hope that this, uh, you know, sort of works out um, for, for everyone I, in a nice way. I, this, ah, so the Grey Warden just decided that he would barge in and murder everybody. On well, the magic door. Okay, so killing the mage has severed the connection. My thanks. She in a disguise? Aren't you a little short for a guard? Says the dwarf as she towers over us. Good, good stormtrooper reference, but hilarious in this context. Is that supposed to be ironic? Yes. We must go quickly. I am. I'm short. If house people find me, I'll be killed, and my people will insist on escorting me back to the palace, where my father may also have me killed. Okay. Um. Should we get back into disguises then? Shh. You'll draw attention to us. Looks like it would normally be a book, but it's not. Can you put us back in disguise then? Or not? Too late? Let us go quickly, Walden. Okay. I do not think we wish to be here when they discover what has happened. Um, I believe that they already have. Oh. Yep. Warden, in the name of the region, <laughs> arrest for the murder of Rendon Howe and his Oh my Tom. god. Surrender, and you may be shown mercy. How is this lands meet supposed to go smoothly? when we're literally massacring our opposition. Like that doesn't, surely that doesn't look good. It is as of anyone who's kind of curious, it could be like, oh, well, I mean, this, this guy kind of ended up running around. He kidnapped the queen. He killed the opposition. He's just massacring everybody. I'm not sure. Who's uniting us against the Darkspawn here? Like we're not painting ourselves a pretty picture, but if we just kill everyone, then um, there's no one left to oppose us. Are we the baddies? <laughs> like, I will stand down. You don't know the whole story. I'm here to free Honora, who was held captive. Don't be ridiculous. The queen isn't being held prisoner here or anywhere else. Her father would never stand for such a thing. You know that for certain. Unlike you, some of us know what honor and loyalty are. I have no doubts about Logan. Bring them down. Loghain wants the Warden, dead or alive. So Anora's not going to help out then. A fight ensued and Anora fled in the confusion. So if we said, hey, explain yourself, she just disappeared. What the fuck is going on? Again, this game excels at completely surprising me. Which is, which is amazing. I love it. Ha ha! No one's doing any, see, no one's doing any, any scatter shots on my watch. Fuck all y'all. Oh, I don't know why I did stun. Oh, that's, that's a lot of health, isn't it? Okay, let's... Um... I see. Ooh, no. nice. Um. Oh shit, I lost um Lost Alistair. I was not pay I was not paying attention to health. Oh, she she was tough. Oh, there's a mage here. Shit. <laughs> I was not even paying attention. 
There's a mage here. This there's been a mage here this whole time. Slay them all. Kill the mage. Time to dance. This is a difficult group of, of, of people to go up against. Time for a little bloodletting. That's for sure. I see. Boop. Uh, sleep didn't work. Damn. Look at that. So sleep. Oh, is this too much? Here. This blood. I am in danger. Do something. Shall be done. Such fun! I mean, it's all low gains guard anyway. Oh, damn. Sorry, Alistair, you did you did good at being a human shield. All right. Sir Cothrian. She was slain while trying to arrest Mepo for the murder of Al Hal, and Al Hal he died at the hands of Mepo in Denerim. Wonderful. We tried our best, didn't we? We're just killing all of, uh, <laughs> killing all of Lugin's party members. The hilt of this immense sword bears the mark of Versen of Halam Sharal, believed to be the greatest smith in the history of the Elysian Empire. The Summer Sword. In the 84th year of the Blessed Age, Lord Aurelin of Monstimard, champion of the Grand Tourney of Ansberg, commissioned a sword for his youngest son, Louis, who aspired to the Chevaliers. Insisting that his boy have nothing but the best, Lord Aurelian sought out the most renowned mastersmith in the Olesian Empire, Versen of Halum Sharal, who was at the time nearly 80 and begged the old man to make the blade. Versen refused. His sight was failing him and he had no wish to come out of retirement, but Aurelian offered an exorbitant sum of gold eventually overcame the artisan's resistance. The old master labored for several months folding steel, honing the edge to perfection. The resulting blade was as long as a man is tall and as sharp as the tongue of any noblewoman. Versen proclaimed it to be his greatest work and named it, in a fit of irony, the Summer Sword, since he had crafted it in the winter of his lifetime. Lord Aurelian uh, brought Lewis with him to receive the sword from the hand of the old master. When the boy saw the summer sword, he turned up his nose at his father's gift. Such great 200 blades were no longer in fashion at court. He preferred an airstock. Airstock is the best stock. Let's go. Aurelian was mortified. He insisted that Lewis carry the blade and apologized to Versen, but to no avail. The swordsmith cursed the boy, saying that for his pride, regardless of blade he carried, he would fail anyway. Lewis was eventually knighted and joined the ranks of the Chevaliers. In the 98th year of the Blessed Age, he was appointed command of the Chevaliers in Denerim and hoped to make a name for himself, and so he did. He was the most detested Chevalier in Ferelden, well known for his acts of depravity. In the first year of Dragon Age, he met Loghain Mactir in battle at Avanash. Lewis lost his Estoc early in the fighting, became separated from his men, and ended up facing down Loghain himself armed only with the Summer Sword which he had never before drawn. Practice might have saved him where pride did not. Loghain made short work of the pompous chevalier and took the great sword as a trophy. Wow. That actually does do a, a crap load of damage too. 20 physical resistance and chance to knock the target back. Nice. We have much to do. Yes, we certainly look good in the eyes of uh, anybody who would potentially witness this, and that is why we must leave no witnesses. But Anora fled. There you go. Um, so do what do with that that we must. Let's just walk out the front door, shall we? Hello, everyone. Of course, there is no one here now. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about what's going on right now. I guess we're heading back to the Owl's estate. Um, well, we did kill everyone. 
No one witnessed our crimes. So, who did all of that? No idea. Some sort of uh, legendary thief, perhaps. Certainly not me. Okay, looks like we're going to be going to Eamon's study to chat to him. Be like, oh, that didn't go how we'd expect. I suppose I can speak to Nigella again. Excuse me, the Lady Queen has summoned me to see to her unmentionables. Oh, so she's here. Uh, you've spoken to Queen Honora. Well, not much. Just, may I air that for you, my lady? She's brought a maid of her own to wait on her. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. Okay, well done. Thanks, Queen Honora, who just... Yep, she really did. Make us breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Yeah. Alfrian's death is a waste, truly. But I suppose it could not be helped. Does Honora being here affect our plans for the lands meet? I fear that my escape will make matters worse. Now that he cannot use me to support his claim on Merrick's throne, he may resort to drastic measures to stay in power. I doubt he will say anything publicly, at least until he has a better idea of what to expect. How much time do we have to stop him? Very little. We will need to work together, and quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first. But he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat. Yet even now, I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. Is there no way to reason with him? I thought so. I'd hoped so. Howe's influence was strong. His death can only be a good thing. But even that will not be enough. I know my father, and he is committed to his course. He will see this through, no matter what. You will need ammunition come the lands meet, and I can help you in that regard. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army, they should have little reason to be upset, which means that how and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Anora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. Yes, that but... true. Yeah. I feared for my safety as Hal's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the lands meet, but you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. And what of Alistair? I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough, and decent, but even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Huh. Caelan. I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Not sure how I feel about Queen Honora. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denneran. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she battered her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close all the same. Why do you think she's trouble? This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. True. Um, and she's single now, right? But aren't we planning to depose her? 
Anora was a capable administrator for Kaelin's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. Okay. Oh, Alistair should marry Anora. That would be strange. Um, why does that matter? Let's talk about something else. Oh, God, I don't... For some reason, I just don't like any of these dialogue options. Because... I would like to support my boy. Um, thanks. I am right here, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I want to support you, but there's literally no positive options, Alistair. For whom we all risked our lives to win back the throne. I only wish Merrick had taken more time to instruct the lad in the politics of ruling. I did my best, but we all hoped Kaelin and Anora would secure the succession. Where's the, I think Alistair would be a great king comment? Like... What? Why? Why are these the things? <laughs> like, I want to pursue dialogue options to get more information here, but all the dialogue options suck. Let's talk about something else, then. <laughs> Maybe Alistair should marry Anora. Are you serious? No, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. That would certainly solve a lot of problems and put forth the strongest argument before the lands meet to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen unless they both agreed to it. And I suspect that might take a lot of persuading to get past her pride and his humility. We certainly have a great deal to play. What do you think he's doing in the alienage? Maker knows what that man is capable of now. Okay. Of course, if I might make a suggestion, go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy, and the sooner we know which she is, the better. All right, Queen Anora. She made her way to Eamon's uh, Denerim estate, and they offered her aid in defeating her father at the lands meet. And now we can speak to Queen Honora. Um, strange turn of events, for sure. I'm feeling very confused about how this is all being navigated. And I'm stressed out about our options here and how this is how this is going to how this is going to go. But I suppose we will just have to um, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? We will just have to wait and see. Um, let's upgrade to, um, I'm going to get improved survival. Um, I'm also then going to give ourselves upset balance. We'll go into, into this next slot. Lovely. And with that one, we're going to bring this episode of Dragon Age Origins to a close. Thank you so much for joining me today. We have started the journey. We've started the lands meet. Who's going to succeed to the throne? Will Loghain be massacred at our hand? What is going to happen with Queen Honora? Many, many questions. It feels like it's going to be a very stressful thing to navigate. Let's find out how it goes next time. Thank you so much. I'll see you then.